conventional gabled roof, uh, the first step is running your ridge beam. Well, you put up a temporary support uh, that's you know, going to be offset so that you can attach your ridge beam to the side of it. Uh, you, you set your height, so you get your, your final height of your uh, house, or, or as close about, you're going to have still a little roofing and material on top. Um, and then you run the ridge beam down it. Um, and sometimes, of course, if it's on longer houses, you have to compound, you have to join gang nail. Um, so you, you say you run a two by eight, but you, you've only got a two by eight that's uh, 16 feet long and your house is 30. So you have to join in with another uh, two by six is going to be, you know, say about 15 or 16 feet long as well. Gang nail them together to create this one long piece of wood. And then, uh, and then the next step, I guess, is you're starting uh, to add your, your rafters, the pieces that come down and actually form the, the shape of the roof. Um, they get attached to the top plate and then you can use those, uh, you space out a few along the length of the ridge beam and you can use those to actually make sure, sight down your ridge beam again and make sure that your ridge beam is running perfectly straight. That's one of the things that can really ruin a house quick is if you have a ridge beam that dips at all or moves like that, it's amazing how just a little error when you get down It'll, it'll throw your perception of the house off. It'll make the house look sway back, or it'll make it look a little bit up, or, or just not quite square. It's amazing how quickly that can really ruin a house. Also, your roofing, if, it, if there's any twist in it, your roofing doesn't, doesn't look right as you go down. It's the easiest way to ruin a house, aesthetically, is to, is to miss, miss your ridge beam, because you get back from it, and you just know something's off. Maybe, maybe a layman wouldn't know what, it, what was wrong, but. You, you just feel like the house is not. Wouldn't you agree? That's yeah, one of those things. Well, um, it can sag later. Mm -hmm. um, and we've, we've detected um, in the 28 foot runs as much as three inches, four inches without having a beam or a support in the middle. <clears throat> so we tend to run wherever the stairs are. There's you know, a post in the middle of the house, a post at the top, and that's to kind of carry it. And we even run as many as three two by eights across on the top ridge beam to do it. Generally, my preference is to run single pieces, two single pieces, and not to um, do any joints in a substantial wall if you can possibly help it. But we've done houses at 32 feet, and it's getting harder and harder to find 32-foot long lumber. Mm -hmm.